Hi, I'm Rocket, and welcome to Whiteboard Katas. This time, we're in week three. This is Living Large. Now, today's kata is all about making big shapes. One of the things you'll do as part of whiteboarding, especially at customer sites, fingers crossed we get back to customer sites, is you'll be drawing really big and you'll notice there'll be times and you know this is personal experience you want to go from one side of the board to the other and you'll do this right and you'll end up with a you know drawing that's inadvertently you know like this and you know it doesn't look all that great so how do you not do that whole You know, that whole thing, so. All right. So today we will practice large shapes. Now there's gonna be basically three or four sets. So you have, you're gonna make a couple of boxes big, then you're gonna make circles. I'll talk to you through what that's like and you'll go up, down, up, down, up, down. And you go down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, right here, that doesn't look that hard, right? But when you're doing it the size of the board, it's pretty difficult. So we're going to start there, and then I'll talk through what the next ones are. And the one thing you do want to do is you want to have, you want to maintain space on the actually it needs to be a little bit more like right here and we're going to use that as a connector for later okay so you draw your four squares you can make sure my and make sure everything's out of the way because you know this is big stuff here okay so on the inside Locking your wrist. Now, some technique things. Locking the wrist helps. It also helps sometimes if you need if you need a step, right? And you can go up like this and then boom, down. Put your eyes on where you want to go and go there. Right? We'll start here this time. This way. I'm going to put my eyes down here. I'm going to go there. I'm going to put my eyes right here. I'm going to go there. Put my eyes right there. And I'm going to go there. Right? Works out pretty well. The next we're going to do circles. Now, I recommend if you're doing big circles to do it in two parts. Right? You'll do stroke one here and stroke two here. That's a good place to start. And why? Because you get, you get more confidence. And eventually, you know, you'll be able to go down and up. Now, if you want to get advanced, try and touch the edges, right? And you probably get four of these in. Okay. Pretty straightforward. And then when it comes to the ups and downs, you know, try and pick a point, right? So here to here, here to there. You'll do it again, here to here, here to here. All right. And the idea here is you're looking for just your big, big, big strokes. Okay. Now, the next part is we're going to do some connectors. Now, this happens a lot for us as architects and, and support teams and, and any whiteboard thing. You're going to want to connect things together. So here, we're going to start at the bottom left, and we're going to connect up to here. Actually, we're going to go up and around to here, and then we're going to go from here up and around. I'm going to move this down just a little bit because you'll go around this corner. Do clean this one up a little bit as well. Okay. All right, while we're at it, let's clean them all up. Okay, so out, 
up, around, down. See how that worked? So up, out, and this is helping get precision when it comes to up and down. Ooh, now this is a tough one because I was in an awkward spot, so I needed a step. So down, come across, go up. I went on the inside this time just for fun, and around. You can do that a couple of times. You can go both directions if you want. You'll notice a handful of things, right? You'll start to see some wavery. That's okay, right? More practice, you know? So if you, if you really feel strongly that you want to get a little cleaner, you know, make sure you can do clean. Yeah, another thing to do when it comes to these going up and out is you can stop, okay? And then you can draw. You don't have to do all in one shape. It's more impressive if you do it in all one thing, but in the moment, nobody's going to really go, ooh, that was cool, unless you're like a whiteboard geek. Um. <clears throat> so, the other thing you'll notice is there are certain directions that are going to be better than others. And you'll find yourself, you know, like, like I think this direction for me, I get kind of wavery. Yeah, I get really wavery. So I know that I need to continue to practice that. And then, you know, after, you know, look at that, that was really bad. You know, after, 20 minutes of doing that, I'll be back on it. But in this moment of, <laughs> of the COVID times, I'm just now getting back to the place where I'm doing lots of these katas. Okay, now the next set is the curves. So um, you can do, and however you wanna do this, you can pick one of these and curve up, and curve up, curve up, Right, curve down, curve down. And if you feel like you need to do more, you can certainly, you know, go go tighter. I was doing four just for, uh, you know, for consistency's sake. Um, so that's the pri Oh yeah, yeah. Fi finally, the the insides and outsides. So you can do like this. Okay, you could even find points, right? If you wanted to, you know, find that consistency, you can look for points and connect them, and then you go the other direction. This is by far not the cleanest kata, but it's not about being clean, it's about confidence in the living large. Right on. So. We can finish up Kata Week Three. Live in large. Right on. I'm Rocket. This has been Whiteboard Katas. Have a good one.